Alrighty, another day, another round of DRL Sim. So, um, I noticed one thing that's interesting. Steam says I played 95 hours here, but if I go in here, it says that I played 96 hours. It must just be a rounding thing, so I'm going to go with the time in this particular window here. Um, and then I made this little Excel sheet uh, so I can see how many hours I've done in comparison to my prior playing. So, uh, started with 92.6, ended up with 96 last night. Uh, that's 3.1 hours. Um, I calculate how many hours a day, and then I'll average those out, excluding uh, anything negative or zero, because obviously this is going to be wrong for the, the next day and the days prior, or days following. Um, and then I calculate the expected total, just to see if I'm reasonably on track for my four to 500 hour uh, goal for uh, February 2nd. So last night, 3.1 hours, I just played while watching um, DRL live and um, uh, a little bit more. And basically what I got done was I was trying to play all of the old uh, DRL maps that I already knew uh, and just kind of get the feel for things again. I wasn't doing all that like, you know, focused of practice or anything like that. It was kind of just get my feet wet again, back, getting back into it. Um, I, I, the, the sim feels just so heavy and I haven't had the opportunity to fly a racer three. I know that they are a very heavy quad and it's a six inch quad, which I'm not used to. So they're, they feel a little more floaty. They, they take a little bit more to spin up to speed. Um, I don't know. I'm used to a, a five inch on six S this is a six inch on five S uh, that weighs a billion pounds and mine are relatively lightweight. So I don't know what to compare it to, but the sim just feels so sluggish in comparison to my real life quads. You have to turn way earlier into a turn and let the thing kind of fall into the turn. So I don't know. It's something that I'm going to have to just get used to and that's fine. So if we go here to the DRL leaders, uh, we can take a look at my, the, the, the different maps that I've run. So I'm 10th here. Uh, keep in mind, none of these numbers are any good. I don't think anybody has really gotten into this yet. There's a uh, very few people actually playing. Um, so these numbers are not anything to write home about. Being top 10 right now is uh, gen generally irrelevant. So don't take that too much into consideration. But so just to, to set some initial values of, of what my abilities are to start with so that I can watch the progress move forward and um, kind of see things like um, what steps of progress am I making as a result of what different actions that I'm taking. So uh, this is Gates of Hell. Let's see, Miami Lights, the DRL one. Um, I am so around 50 there. I do like to compare it just leaderboard wise because I feel like that gives at least a where, where I am in the pack, um, I don't know. It's I don't know that these numbers are relevant yet anyways, so it's hard to, it's just a good benchmark. So we can analyze these deeper or whatever later, but whatever. Uh, where am I in this one? 11th, so I'm near-ish top 10. That other one was 17. That was kind of crap, but let's see. 11. So, I mean, for most of these, I'm getting Boston. I think I didn't do very well on Boston Foundry, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, 19th. Okay, so I'm a full seven seconds off from 15. So I've got a ton of room to grow in that one. Um, that has a lot of complex turns and things like that uh, that you really need to be hugging the inside. So... Anyway, so just to give you kind of a, a gist of what I did, just trying to get warmed up and all that good stuff. So I'm going to jump back in now, get warmed up again, and then figure out a good way to actually make some progress. I'm thinking I can pick a course, maybe say Boston Foundry. I didn't do very well on Boston Foundry last night. Um, pick a course like Boston Foundry, fly it, and then analyze what I did and adjust to, you know, be getting better. So I think that's the plan. So... We'll pause for now, jump back in. All right, so here we are. Back in, we can jump into Boston Foundry and let's just see what we can do. 48 seconds is top for this. I'm at 107, so there's a, a huge discrepancy there between 
my current abilities and what's considered good on the leaderboards now. And it's still very early in the game, so that's probably not even a good score. So all I'm going to do is try and fly slow and steady and not crash here. And just try and see what I could be doing better when I go and analyze back through. So all of a sudden, I'm already seeing I'm taking all of these corners very wide. I'm not leaving my throttle open. I am trying to go slow anyways, but... Pulsing the throttle way too much. These are not how you set record breaking time. Missing gates, right? So... I gotta get consistent before I can get fast, unfortunately, here. Right, so that was a huge waste. I have no alt control left. So all of this stuff will come with time, but it definitely helps me to name them off and really know what I need to be focusing on. And then maybe I'll build some drills or something like that and see if all of a sudden, as a result, my Boston Foundry time gets better. Right, so missing gates totally. And with this one, I've, I've been doing that consistently before, I noticed. So if I come in here and I cut this, if I cut this closer and like come to that wall there, if I come to that wall here and then cut over, then I tend to be able to make that, that sweep that I just did there. Um, if I don't cut to that wall, let's go back here. If I don't cut to this wall, and I end up trying to just cut the pole close, I end up turning late and not being able to get in there in time, and I just hit the, hit the gate because it just has so much mass and so much momentum. All right, you got to take those turns a little early. Didn't take that early enough. It suffered as a result. Took that super wide. All right, so you're getting a real, actual, proper view here of what this looks like. The answer is a lot of crashing. <laughs> All right, so clearly alt control around a turn is a difficult aspect for me. Hugging the insides of turns is not going well. I think another issue is I'm attempting to fly outside of my ability. Uh, this is how I used to fly back when I had like practice on the sim and knew what I was doing. Um, and quite clearly that's no longer the case. So uh, maybe I need to slow it down and build up and I'm just, you know, my times are gonna suffer as a result to start with, but maybe long-term I'll end up actually um, getting benefit there. I'm not sure exactly what to try. For peak effectiveness. So these, all of these mistakes are a huge hindrance for time. And as soon as you make even just one of these mistakes, it's I'm I'm not going to be setting any sort of time, right? Like. If you even bump a thing, you kind of just don't set record times. That's just like the way it goes. You have to hit the reset button, forget it. So that said, that was a 107 right there with all of those mistakes. So maybe let's just give it a try. All right, so it's basically the same time as my current record time. So I'll go ahead, let's just maybe give this a try. Uh, slower and more steady, just don't crash and you know, I don't need to leave the throttle full open the whole time, but let's just kind of set the pace here um, and see if that gets me any better. So you'll notice I'm flying a little cleaner here, lower on the throttle. I'm still punching it in sections, right, but not fully wide open all the time. A little more controlled through the turns. At least it feels a lot cleaner. I don't know if it's looking a lot cleaner. So that turn was trash. That was a little nicer. Wide there. Whoa. Oh, come on. I was doing so consistent. All right. Two, three major, major. 
major mess ups there, right? Like now I'm not gonna that I think that time I was on pace for beating my other time. And totally screwed it up. So let's <sighs> Alright, so I think I'm trying to push too hard again. I need to slow it down. I need to get all the way through. If I can't get all the way through a lap, then I have nothing to compare it to as far as time goes. Right? So I say while pushing and bouncing off the bow. It's hard for me to take it slow and just chill out. Um, which I think is going to be something I need to learn. That's like, that's hindering my ability to grow, so I need to fix that. <gasps> One of these times I'll get a clean run. You just watch. You watch. Not that time. If you're wondering why I keep looking over there, that's because I get another monitor over there so I can see myself and how much of a clown I look like crashing repeatedly. It's awesome. Ugh. This game is very discouraging. It definitely takes some getting back used to. It's not like, it's not exactly riding a bike. Ugh, it's agonizing. 500 hours of this, ladies and gents. All right, so I am noticing that I am cutting those corners a little better. This one I've been cutting a lot better. That one I have not been cutting better, clearly. I did a couple of times, but it's not consistent. This I need to cut in a little early. Yep, good. So, I mean, my flying is cleaning up. It, it looks a little bit ridiculous because all I'm doing is crashing over and over again, right? But like I am actually starting to make progress. You can see my line starting to get cleaner. It's still trash and I'm still flying way beyond my ability, right? Like I'm pushing harder than I'm actually able to complete laps for. So my consistency is trash. That's definitely something I'm going to have to focus on. Um, but like it's getting better, right? Like there is progress being made. Practice is happening and results are coming out the other side. And it's only been, oh, I don't know, 11 minutes. Consistency is clearly not in my strong suit just yet. I need to just set a time clean without making mistakes. This is driving me freaking crazy. So we're going to slow it down and see what fast with mistakes versus slow without mistakes actually gets as a time difference. And I know in real life, in multi-GP, that's the way that you win races, right? Like, at least that's the way that I have recently uh, done okay at races is not that I'm actually fast or any good at flying. It's that I can be consistent if I want to be consistent, right? Like, I'll finish the laps, assuming I don't get mid-aired. And, you know, I'm setting slower laps than other people, but... I'm getting them every time and then not crashing. That said, my most recent races, that hasn't been true either, but whatever. Okay, so there's a perfect example. That was a 56, right? 107 to 56, that's a significant time savings. And that was me flying like crap in comparison. My out control is garbage. My cutting turns is garbage. Okay, well, that's probably enough torture for you guys for one day. I'm going to keep on playing for several more hours. And we will see if I make any sort of progress. Um, I can go ahead and recap at the end of this um, what, what numbers I've set for each of the maps. Uh, maybe I'll include that over in the other little Excel sheet so we can just see progress. Uh, for each of the maps as well. And uh, yeah, happy flying. See you in the sim. What do we have here? Oh, it's yesterday's video. Yeah. Oh, it's tomorrow's video. How convenient. One's only going to show up if you're not watching this live, so keep that in mind.